you do the process of drawing a direction or drawing direction in Microsoft Word just like uh, you can see uh, on your screen therefore basically we shall be drawing uh, something of the sort therefore let's begin therefore the first thing to do is to identify where your auto shapes are like for example you just go to shapes then we shall utilize the line therefore you just uh, drag uh, you just drag to the direction you want to draw then uh, you can for example if there is a junction here you can just uh, pull the lines towards where you want uh, the direction to be and then like now if there is a straight line here and uh, there is example another way this way there is another path or road towards the southern part you can just pull towards the direction you want uh, then we can still go on and uh, continue drawing that way mm -hmm. Then let's assume this road goes to what's west this way. Then let's assume we have a center here, and uh, we can want to do a small road about at that juncture. Then we can just go back to shapes, then draw our town here, and then you can change the car to the car you want. Then to write in such a, a photo shape, you just right click, then you go to add text, then this is, uh, you can call it our ready piece, piece here the center, that way, then you can change the te this text direction by highlighting then going to format then you go to uh, this point here this way you you choose your text direction if I just click to where my text direction should face then probably you can increase the font and make it bold uh, then we can draw a certain building here by going to uh, take an auto shape then you can draw. Then you want this one to align with this road. Therefore, you just turn using the green flip. Uh, this, for example, is a school. Then I go to shape styles and uh, can assign some color to add inside. You just right click, then add text. Probably you can call this one same Saint Mary's Boys high school that way I cannot I can spare check boys good then uh, you can still add more uh, like one building here by going to this point here then add another building then give it a different character right inside you right click then go to add text uh, then this one can be called Yale Town. Then you can increase the font size uh, for it to be visible. You can add the dictionary. Then probably you want to show direction that uh, people are coming to Yale Town. Therefore, you can just go to insert, then shape. You take an arrow and then draw towards where you want it face. Uh, that way, if I want it to face to this direction, then people from the southern will also be joining the others in near town. Then I can also take people from now the northern part also will be also uh, going this way towards this route. And then up to near it down. 
that's, that's how you, you draw a direction using the auto shapes. But in case you want to write, you can write using the text box. Therefore, you just go to insert, then you go to shape, then you go to a text box, then you can draw your text box there. Then you can tell people this way. This way, you are going this way. Then increase the font size. Make it bold. Then you use the rotating frame uh, to make sure that text is aligning to your uh, needs. Then reduce this size. Then you go to shape outline, then no outline. Now once you go to no outline, you can now press it somewhere like that point. Then to uh, towards the upside, you can just go to uh, shapes. Then you can also type inside this one, this way. Then you increase the font size, make it bold. Then I uh, want this one to uh, be on this angle here, this angle, if we can take it nearer to have that angle. And then, then we go to format, shape of train, then no train. That way, you can still squeeze it near to that point. Then we can also add another this way here. Insert, shape, then you take the text box, you write this way this way then you align it according to that angle then you can take it uh, to this point but we then go to shape uh, okay you go to shape out trend then no train but uh, okay again shapes no train so that we don't want to have the text box therefore after uh, doing so after doing so uh, you are now, uh, you have now uh, run how to draw the direction. You can also add a heading by going to text box. Then you can draw the text box here. Then say the direction to near return. To near return. Then you can take it where you want. You increase the Increase the font size. That way. Then you go to shape, no train. Still, we need a bigger heading. So you can go to home, change the font size to something like agency, then increase the font size. And you can make it bold. Now that is uh, capital letters, uppercase. Therefore, you have seen how we usually draw a direction using a very uh, simple way. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to comment and to like. Thank you.